Greetings, lovers of arm wrestling. It's Matthew coming at you from the mildly chilly Minnesota North. I've tried to record this video like 18,000 times in the past few days, and each time something different has stopped me, usually something internal. But I'm going to try my best to just get on with it. As you can see, I'm walking by the railroad tracks, which is good luck. Uh, this is an old habit of mine. I've loved to do this since I was, oh, my late teens, probably. And I know Devin likes to do this, too, so I figure filming by the railroad tracks might actually give me a, a bit of good luck trying to record this very important update on the beautiful Devin Larratt EDM track that I have been making. Sorry if the phone jostles a bit. I'm walking on unsteady terrain here. <laughs> Um, so I do have updates for you and I also have a teaser and I'm going to give those to you right now. Uh, but after that, if you'd like to stick around, I'm going to talk a little bit about why it matters that Devin is going to pin Levon on April 20th. So stay tuned for that after the music. So the music, it's really, really good. I have just about finished the composition, as the universe would have it. It's about 4 minutes and 20 seconds long. I did not plan for that at all. The universe gives us the things that we want. I did have a scare a few days back regarding the AI vocals. I had a little dip in confidence. Um, AI is AI. It does sound like Devin, though. And it does sound pretty fucking badass, so I think you'll like it. And maybe someday there will be an improvement to the vocals. Maybe Devin himself will rap them, or some professional music producer will get a real rapper to do this. We'll see. Um, but it's, it's good. I just have mixing and mastering left to do for the most part. And I also have the lyric video to do. Uh, that's the bulk of the work at this point. I'm thinking of releasing the song about two weeks before the match. Does that sound about right to you? Two weeks out? If you think I should release it on a different date, to let me know. It will be released here on my channel, by the way, for those of you who haven't been in the loop. Um, I will share a teaser for the song right now, as a matter of fact, because you've been waiting so patiently and you deserve it. So here you go. Test your frame. Come at me and break it. Sam to stage. Now rise up and take it. Same thing, only heart. Same thing, only heart. Same thing, only heart. Same thing, only heart. You're so strong and quick to the trigger. But I'm too long. You'll have to get bigger. Same thing, only heart. Same thing, only heart. Same thing. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about why Devin's win matters. This phrase keeps turning over in my head. Devin is unlikely. He said that a few days back, didn't he? It isn't likely. I think it's very important that Devin is the underdog. His doubters in the past few years said, you have to gain weight, you have to get 300 plus pounds. You have to get a much heavier biceps curl. You're too old, you're delusional, you're washed up, you're too injured, blah, blah, blah. Devin flipped all of that on its head. Slowly but surely, he showed us that Maybe you don't need the world's most powerful biceps curl. Maybe the little things matter just as much. Rising. Pronation. Maybe age is just a number. Maybe you can become near inhuman at 48. Maybe you can be the super heavyweight champion at 270 pounds. And what all of that means to me is that Maybe I can leverage my less obvious strengths 
toward great effect. And maybe my weaknesses aren't as bad as I think. There's a lot there that can apply to the dreams and goals we're pursuing, whatever they may be. I'm a fantasy novelist. I dream to turn my books, once they're published, into comics, animation, games, a whole franchise. Sky's the limit. There are things about me that make that a little bit unlikely. But there are just as many things about me that would make my work so, so impactful. And those are the unique things, the, the Matthew things. Devon has embraced what makes him Devon. Devon shows us how to live in a strange package and deliver that package to an unlikely place. Regardless of whether Devon is able to beat Levon on the 20th of April, the package has been delivered. Devon has shown us the power of human potential. And if he loses against a titan like Levon, it's not a great smear on his record because Levon is also one of those unlikely creatures, right? The clash between Devon and Levon is a clash of unlikelihoods. So yeah, I'm gonna have to Frankenstein this video together in post because I was all over the place. I've been all over the place mentally, but I appreciate you uh, hanging in there if you happened to watch. And I hope you were able to glean some kind of wisdom from what I said just now, whether it's my wisdom or your own. Uh, because I don't want anybody in this world, or at least as few people as possible, to live in doubt of themselves, to live in underestimation of their ability. There are so many weird things about you that can give you an edge in life. And I think one of the hardest lessons we learn is to let that edge show. There are so many reasons to be scared of doing that, but there are just as many reasons to be excited for it. And after a while, you have to ask yourself, how many more years are you willing to spend not knowing what you could do if you tried? And ask yourself, on your deathbed, what is the one thing you would most regret not having done? Over my limited years, I've come to realize that the thing you would most regret not doing is the thing you most fear to do.